Beloved child of God, I'm so excited once again to have you on this platform. Jesus is coming TV. Now this channel, by the grace of God, you know, has made some progress and I want to thank you for your support. You watch, you comment and you like. And I'm grateful that by the grace of God, you know, we have met, I believe, that our meeting is not an accident. I keenly believe that by the grace of God, we have met to build each other and support each other as we await the second coming of the Lord. Someone will call it the rapture. It is the second coming of the Lord. And my prayer from, the, um, from my heart is that you will make it. Pray also for me so that we will one day meet in the celestial city. God bless you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy. Help us to understand your word in Jesus' name. Child of God, as I said, the name has undergone a change from Onyamiba to Jesus is coming TV. By the grace of God, I want, you know, the name to also communicate. I want the name to also communicate. Onyamiba basically meant you know the son of god or a son of god you know in my native dialect but not everyone will understand and appreciate the meaning i was trying to pass across but jesus is coming is direct and i believe it will make my, my my viewers and all my supporters to always think about the second coming of our lord and savior jesus jesus is indeed coming I believe you like it and I believe you really continue to support. Don't forget to always like. When you watch it, please like the video so that YouTube will also continue to market the channel, you know, for the message of God to spread across everywhere in the world. I believe the message will go. This gospel shall indeed go to all the ends of the world now i want us to discuss briefly the title which i believe is so important to every child of god two kinds of prosperity well um, two kinds of prosperity can be found in the world and i want us to look at first of all you know what are the two kinds what are the sources of this prosperity now Quickly, I want us to go to the book of Luke chapter 4. And if you look at the temptation of our Lord Jesus, if you look at, you know, if you find time and read from verse 1, but in verse 5, the Bible says, And Jesus answered him. This is about the temptation of Jesus by Satan. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Verse 5. And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, shield unto him, shield unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. For that is what? Delivered unto me. And to whomsoever I will, I give. Now, this statement by Satan confirms or it shows that in the life of men and women, there comes a time that the enemy of man, Satan, will come and make unto you a deal the deal is bow to me that is a condition bow to me serve me make me your lord when i become your master all the glory of the world and the power thereof i will give you now so it shows that satan has glory and he has some power he said it was delivered to me i think i've explained in some of my audios 
about the Adamic authority of Satan. How, you know, Adam, through the fall, delivered unto him, you know, his place. But Christ came and took his place. But the most important thing here is that Satan said, in fact, the Bible says he took him onto a high mountain. And read this, you know, encounter between Jesus and Satan carefully. The Bible says he took him onto a high mountain. He took Jesus onto a high mountain. Hmm. Well, it's amazing. And he said to him, I will give you all this if you bow to me. Child of God, there are many captains of industry, lots of musicians, lots of politicians, lots of business people, many people in Hollywood, the music industry, movie industry, people in almost every sphere of life bankers and some of these people they have fallen to this deal they have exchanged their soul for fame and money now the prosperity that satan gives is for your soul and he'll give you fame and money and it can be very sudden he will give it to you and it can be very sudden Child of God, hear me. When somebody receives the prosperity of Satan, what happens is that the soul of the person doesn't prosper. It leads to the corruption and then retrogression of the soul of that individual. What do I mean? That person will not advance the things of God. That person wouldn't have time to pray to God or study God's word. He begins to follow policies across the world things which are against the Lord. For instance, there are many presidents, many millionaires and billionaires who are in favor, they support abortion, they support homosexuality and all kinds of vices which are against the Lord. They have exchanged their soul for fame and money. Now, if you go to Luke, all right, if you go to the book of Luke, and then you read, you know, chapter 12, verse 31, it says, But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto thee. In some, in, in some verses, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added. Now, this is the source of the prosperity of God through Jesus. When you, you do the things of God, when you get yourself involved in pushing the gospel, supporting the works of God in prayer, in Bible reading, you know, supporting the agenda of God, advancing and expanding the kingdom of God, the Bible says, you shall prosper. But this kind of prosperity has no sorrow. For you to know that this pastor, apostle, religious leader, the prosperity that he or she has is from God. Is that you realize that his soul shall prosper the prosperity of a soul is an indication for instance if somebody is blessed materially he has all the buildings the cars and the money and the cash if that person's soul is also prospering it means that that person is blessed of God the prosperity of the soul of the physically prosperous person is about the fact that this person who is blessed and is blessed material in cars and all kinds of money if that person is supporting the things of god he's supporting policies which favor the cause of elohim his prayer life is good he talks about god he supports god he believes in christ that person's prosperity is from god because the bible says beloved i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. So if your prosperity is from God, your soul also prospers. If your prosperity is from Satan, your soul dies and you fight against the cause of God. It doesn't matter what they do or what they say. They can even hold the Bible. But for you to know that you have exchanged your soul for fame and money, they will support policies which will fight against God. Recently, there was... Uh, president, a president who was sworn in. I don't want to go into it. 
because I've gone into those matters. He held a Bible, very big Bible, and yet he, he, he came up and he was now supporting policies that favor homosexuality and gays. How can you hold a Bible and you, you are now supporting legalization of an abominable practice to the Almighty God? Well, child of God, these are the two kinds of prosperity we are talking about. Whoever you are and wherever you are in your work with God, if you have not met him, one day you are going to meet him. Especially when the stakes are high or when it comes to a stage where you are vulnerable. Know for a fact. Seek ye first the kingdom. Don't give up. The Lord will prosper you. Don't give in and accept the prosperity of Satan. He will take your soul and give you fame and money. But you shall regret. Once again, I thank you and I pray for you that the Lord will help you to stand firm and never go in for the enticement of this world. The Lord Almighty can prosper you on this earth and give you everything that you want if you wait on Him. May God bless you and I thank you once again for your time. Thank you so much.